Backstage 30 is going to take you, but here you are at the Garrick Hotel. I have been born and raised here, and I still did not know that the Garrick Hotel actually existed. So I'd like to introduce you now to a great band with a great name, Moshi Callahan. And first of all, I'm going to let you, Lucas, introduce the guys. Well, I'm Lucas. Thanks for the introduction. We got Joel here, our drummer, the talented Jacob McCann on bass, and Noah, our guitarist and lead singer. Wow. Okay. Moshi Callahan. I love the name. How did that all start? Uh, our granddad was a boxer, and uh, he didn't have a stage name for his first match, so um, the official uh, decided to give him the name Mushy the Kid Callahan after a famous uh, boxing uh, choreographer and boxer from the uh, 1940s. <laughs> and don't let their looks deceive you, because these guys can really rock. So first of all, I did like the name, and then when I listened to the music, wow, I was blown away. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got a lot of uh, different influences for our music. I mean, our dad was in, uh, played classic rock growing up, so with all our parents being in music, it kinda, we kind of brought a lot of different uh, genres into it, and uh, we kind of feel like we have our own sound now, so it's oh, good. And it's, and it's really cool, like in this day and age, of so much electronic pop stuff coming out. You guys play with like old souls, and you know, there's a little twinge, though, of the contemporary, but you were in fact all brothers? That's right, yeah. We uh, grew up playing music together. We kind of branched off and did our own thing for a few years and uh, we all ended up in Toronto and kind of doing it all over again. So. so, born and raised in Alberta, why Toronto now? Is that the mecca to be as if you're a musician? Uh, well, I think, uh, you know, being a, a musician in Alberta is tough. And if you want to be, want to reach the largest audience you can, it's got to be like the Toronto or the Vancouver type thing. And I found that, you know, when Toronto was kind of the biggest Thing going on, and I was already down there, and we all kind of moved. And you know, they have the most festivals and everything like that. So I think the Toronto is the—it's been a good bet for us. It's worked out really well for us. So so far, so good. With Toronto. And that's interesting. Albertans, I mean, they love their rock and roll. I mean, you could name off all the good old rock and roll bands. You'd think that big hit there, Toronto. I think would be a harder egg to crack. Uh, that's a place to go for music. That's where all the festivals are. And really, if you want to be uh, be in music in Canada, that's where you got to be. Yeah. That's where it's happening. Uh, what's the general response? Like, this is the first time you've been in here in Winnipeg. You haven't played quite yet, but I think people are going to love you. I think we're picking up steam throughout Canada, so it should be, uh, should be good. We're excited to go to Vancouver this time, so. Yeah. yeah it's good. We're getting a lot, of, a lot more attention this time around, so it's good. The five song EP was done before we were in the studio. I mean, before it was done for a long time. We were just sitting on them. And while we had that, and we were coasting off that for the last year, we were writing and recording. And we had it done, ready to go. So this, the album has been done for a while. It's just all the post production stuff that's kind of been in the works. So now that it's released, it's September 12th. Well, it's December 12th, the release date. And uh, well, we're happy to you know, release it and get it out there and tour off of it. So. I know, and it's for us, it's like hearing new music, and it's so funny because so many bands like yourselves have sat on these songs forever and ever, and finally you get them released, and it's like, well, is it like a big rock lifted off your shoulder? <laughs> uh, it is, but I mean, when you're doing this kind of thing as an indie band, you have to make sure you do it right, so there's got to be so much behind the album when you're, when, you're, when you're releasing it. You just can't, you know, release something every week, so you want to make sure that when you have the album come out, that uh, you time everything well, and that, uh, you know, you have your, 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 I guess your ducks all in a row, your yeah. eggs in line and all your tour, tour dates set up, so. So interesting, brothers born and raised together, and now you're working together. The collaboration, the writing, the music, is it all done together too? Yeah, um, we, I kind of started off writing some songs on my own, brought it to Joel, and that's when we wrote the EP off of. But this time around, we're living in a house all together as well, so we have a lot of time to go pick up a guitar, and you know, there's always someone around that wants to join in. must be so proud to have oh, all their sons in one band. Yeah, it's, I mean, usually when uh, siblings get older, they kind of branch off. And whenever we tell people we're all brothers, we live together, we play in a band, they're like, I can't see how you do that. I can't stand my own brother. So, I mean, it's tough at times, but I think we get through it. So, I can't stand you. you <laughs> told. And your dad hasn't asked if he could join in on the tour? Uh, we've had him in this for some studio sessions, but he's uh, he's always in the background. He's kind of the, the, the coach, I guess you could yeah, say. We always so. send our songs to review for him, see what he thinks, and yeah, he's, he's a tough critic, and he'll be pretty honest on it. So. Oh, that's yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to Winnipeg, Mushy Callahan. Enjoy the Garrick Hotel, 
and uh, we look forward to hearing more from you guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Okay. Well, she Callahan, go out and get the record.